You know what time it is. Geek Gang, it is time to get sauced up with another trailer reaction. And this time it's Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder official teaser. Just so you guys are aware, I was about to take my pretty ass to bed. My hair game is telling you all that you need to know right now, right? It is currently 12.48 a.m. on Tuesday morning here in Australia. I was about to go to night night and then somebody was like, hey, that new Thor trailer is out. Guess what I got to do? I got to get out of bed because we got to do this for you guys. You guys ready, man? Let's sauce up. Let's see what this is about. What is this movie going to be about? Let's go. He ain't running. Hey, got his belly gone, though. No more gut gut. Oh, my man planted his he planted his axe huh okay so we got a new journey vibe for him got his nah my man losing weight okay hey nice okay so he left them okay left Okay, so we got a new Asgard. This looks fucking awesome. Visual looks dope. Right, because he, he, he can literally just go where... What the hell? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh! Okay, Port Port. What up, Port Port? She over here like, nah, you know I got the mill near the near the near. What you talking about? Okay, so real quick. Because I, I, I am really tired. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But we're going to go through some of these shots. So, obviously, my man's getting back into shape. He's laying down his hero. His hero wing. Right? His hero travels are over. He wants to find himself. He's like, I've been doing this and that. I, want, I need to know who I am. Like, I, I'm no longer a warrior. I'm no longer a superhero. He wants to find who he is now. Right? And obviously, we know from Endgame how my man was feeling about Jane Foster, right? Obviously broken heart about it. But we see my man's in his little training regimen. My dude's doing the battle rope, but my dude's literally on some chain situation. It looks like, uh, I don't know, what is that? Who is that supposed to be? Do y'all know who that's supposed to be? I don't know, but he got a big ass head. Oh, that's all I know. So you got a big ass head game. Now this is dope, so... So we have, obviously, at the end of Endgame, we had him leave with the Guardians. So we see the Guardians here. So is this going to be like a Guardians 2.5 going into 3? You know what I'm saying? Is he going to overlap with Guardians 3 is what I'm saying. Interesting enough, though, but it's dope that we kind of see this might be at the beginning of the movie is what I'm assuming. Because my man's literally got his outfit. He doesn't have a he doesn't have his outfit, but he doesn't have his gigantic belly anymore. And it looks like they're in battle of some sort because you have Star Lord on the bottom part of the screen tucking. He ducking, right? So that's interesting. Um, so something's going on here. It seems like there's some kind of battle going on. But see, that's interesting though, right? Oh, that's it. Oh, that's what's his name. I keep forgetting. I was like, hold on, that looks like oh boy, but I think he probably just has his his mohawk. Um, so he can control his little, pew, right? Um, so we got that. My man Thor left. So, so super dope. This July. Now we have new Asgard, obviously, on Earth. Uh, on some, and that was on some like Santa Claus. <laughs> that's awesome Santa Claus vibes, but I'm with it. That's cool. This is dope. This has a very Sonic-esque aesthetic to it. Uh, so I fuck with it tough. That's uh, beautiful, actually. So who is this? Is this supposed to be Natalie Portman? Is this Natalie Port right here? That looks like Natalie Portman. I think that's Natalie Portman. So my dude got his, obviously we know from the 
previous movie, he can open the Bifrost, travel from wherever he wants to travel. He has a very uh, vibrant new suit, which is awesome. Very colorful. Now, I'm not sure where this actually is, but it's somebody at Thunderbolt, so I'm not sure if this is like the gods. Is that supposed to be Zeus? I'm not 100% sure who that's supposed to be, uh, to be honest. If you guys know what comic book character that's actually supposed to be, please let me know because I'm not well-versed, as you can see. Has a plan. This is interesting, though. Big dinosaur ice giant guy. Nice. Did he just battle that man's? She's like, man, I don't want to be the president of New Asgard. <laughs> That's what she looked like. Okay, so what we don't see here is Gamora, right? So it could be, this could be a, you know, a foreshadowing that Gamora is not with them in Guardians 3. Or maybe he's trying to track her down in Guardians 3, but she's not on the ship when he says that. And he's looking at him like, hey, what's up, Blake? He's like, no, I'm not talking to you, bro. <laughs> but I think that's interesting though because he obviously wants some kind of camaraderie. He's he's looking for that type of attention, right? And then we see the Milner shot come through wing. And he's like, "What the Hoven Schleiger?" Right? Interesting. So, I'm not sure is this a a result of Kang, a result of Loki, right? Is this a result of multiverse of madness? We're not 100% sure what this is a result of. I don't know. What are your guys' theories on this? How is Jane Foster Thor? How is she worthy? I want to know your guys' thoughts. Let me know. If you know more on what comic thread this is taking from, I would also like that education. I greatly appreciate it. But let me know your guys' thoughts, man, on this trailer. Are you guys excited about Thor Love and Thunder? I, this has actually got me a little bit in, more interested. I didn't know how, if I was going to be interested because Thor 3, Thor Ragnarok was so good that I was like, I don't know if y'all could top that with a fourth Thor. And now I'm very intrigued. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Geek Gang, we have this thing.